Hi, thank you for tuning into Irfan CFPS. If you are here because you are passionate to learn firefighting and fire alarm system design, you are in the right place. In today's session, we will explore smoke detector spacing requirements as per NFPA 72, which is the key aspect of our ongoing journey towards fire safety excellence. Before we start, let's do each other a favor. Hit the subscription button and become a part of our safety conscious community and also click the bell icon. So let's start our today's class. So NFPA 72 provides some common spacing rules and they are designed to ensure optimal performance of smoke detectors thereby minimizing the risk of damage and loss of life. So as per NFPA 72. The smoke detectors have a nominal spacing and in case of heat detectors they, they were having listed spacing. So basically this nominal spacing can be equal to the design spacing if there will be no adjustment. We will look about the adjustment in our next slides. So basically radius coverage for one smoke detector is given as 0.7 multiplied by the design spacing. So spacing of the detectors will be done in two steps. Basically the standard spacing for smoke detectors is based on the premise that they should not be installed more than 30 feet or 9.1 meter apart and the detector performance can be affected based on the airflow, ventilation and other environmental factors so they should also be taken into consideration apart from that we need to apply additional reduction factor to address ceiling surface like solid joists or beams and get final design spacing s d so final design spacing will be s d so we need to take care of all these points before we finalize the design NFPA 72 does not address spacing considerations for smoke detection based on the ceiling heights. As we already discussed in our earlier slide, there is an impact of spacing between the detectors due to solid joists and or beams. So basically manufacturer recommendations and NFPA guidelines has to be followed before placing these smoke detectors in joists or beams. We shall discuss about this in next session. So before we wrap up our class, I want to leave you with a little challenge. Imagine you are designing a smoke detectors for a particular living room. Based on what we have learned in today's class, can you determine the radius of coverage for one smoke detector and also x and y distances for this example so drop your answers in the comment section let's see who can come up with most accurate solution so in order to make it little bit complicated you can find one more activity and based on these two figures you can provide your answers for this particular question marks and also find out the radius for this smoke detector and this is not just a test of your knowledge but a great way to apply what we have learned in practical sense so i will wait for your answers thank you hope you understand today's session so in our next class we will explore smoke detector spacing requirements for solid joists and beams thank you for watching if you are passionate about fire safety and want to stay updated with latest in firefighting and fire alarm systems please do me a favor smash the subscription button and also ring the notification icon to get more updates thank you once again bye